So I've just made a slight adjustment to this low health mixer. So on the master, I've just changed the volume to around 8.10 decibels and changed the pitch slightly to 124%. I feel that that gives a slightly better uh, response. Um, and it's meant to be kind of like a, a really kind of deep, dark kind of sound, you know, as, as though you're kind of struggling with your breathing and your health. Um, it, it just indicates that you now have to find some kind of a pickup in order to improve your health. Okay, so we've got the bat working, so let's get a little bit closer to the first person character and let's just click on the bat. All right, to get a little bit closer. Um, now we need to do the same thing with the knife. Okay, so let's click on the knife in order to isolate that. Um, and obviously this uh, capsule is kind of in the way, so FPS controller. Let's just switch off the mesh renderer for now and obviously find the knife. So once again, we're gonna right click on the knife, uh, 3D object and cube. Okay, so it's a little bit big, so let's just uh, resize this. Now at this point we can obviously get rid of the mesh renderer, we don't need that, and set this box collider to a trigger. I'm going to switch on my gizmo so that I can see this. And I do want the knife box collider to sort of cover the sharp end of the knife, so it's going to be quite large. Okay, something like this. Now, this particular knife may not in itself get close enough to the enemy to actually damage him. So what I'm gonna do with this is make the box collider just larger in, in, this, in this way, and then taking the move tool, I'm just gonna move it so that it sort of extends out from the knife. Now, hopefully that will um, actually activate the damage on the enemy. Uh, if it doesn't, then it's just a matter of like playing around with this collider just to make it the right size uh, so that you can actually affect the enemy. Okay, now before we called this bat damage, so I'm gonna call this one knife damage. Uh, so we'll look, knife damage just to keep them consistent, okay. Uh, and obviously we need to uncheck this so that it doesn't, uh, it's not visible until we call it from the animation, which we can do now. So back to player main arms, window, animation, animation. And this one is obviously gonna be the uh, knife strike one. So when we play through this, okay, that's the animation. Uh, I might actually want this animation to be slightly quicker, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but it's meant to be like a knife strike, so pretty quick. So at the moment, it extends to 130. So if you remember to make something uh, to, to shrink the speed of uh, the duration of it, to speed it up, we just click on the first keyframe, Alt Shift, and click on the second keyframe, and then we can drag those down. So I'm just gonna drag this down to one. Okay, so that now when I play it, it's much faster. Okay, so a really fast kind of swipe with the sword, uh, the knife. Okay, so where, where do we want this box collider to start? Well, not there, because obviously he's just picking his knife up when he actually makes the strike there. So I think roughly about here. So I'm gonna press record. I'm gonna find the knife damage and just switch it on at that point. Okay, so before that, it should be deactivated. It comes on there and roughly, roughly about here maybe. Uh, I'm just gonna switch it back on again and switch it off, okay? Great, so that's the, um, that's the actual strike. And then obviously in the animator, it will automatically animate to him putting the weapon back into, into place again. Okay, great, so uh, that should work. Now the last thing we need to do with the knife damage is obviously give it a relevant tag. Okay, so we've already got P bat, so now we need to add a new one. Uh, and we'll call this P knife. Okay, there we go, sorted. 
So I'm now going to give you an assignment to do the same thing, this time with the axe. All right, and instead of putting it on the blue uh, prefab, you will need to associate it with the actual object itself. Okay, so for the axe, and bear in mind that if you uh, create a cube on it, it might start out really small, possibly, uh, and just make sure that the cube is just around the edge of the axe. Uh, obviously, give it a relevant tag, uh, P axe, perhaps, um, and just, just sort out the animation as well. Okay, and we'll review that in the next um, session.